Hey everybody, welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon. My name is Bear. It's another weird week, boys and girls. I've got a lot of gold. Well, okay. No, I don't. I've got enough to get the provisions. That's that's a lot in my book these days. I had to spend enough to get these guys more or less ready. I'm taking on the, the Sonorous Prophet today. I don't know if I should, but I think I can, so I'm going to. This is the team that we're going to do it with. Gives you a little bit of a concern, doesn't it? Oh, wait a minute, Bear. These two, they can't hit the Prophet, can they? No, no, they can't. Do you have a plan for that? No, not really. <laughs> Just <laughs> kind of hoping it works. I'm going to try to clear out the front pews as early and often as I can with the two in the front, and he's probably going to end up defending all these guys while he heals him. She's going to deal the majority of the damage. I'm sure it'll all work out. At the end of the day, we're all just going to die, so what does it matter? Let's go check the estate. Uh, we've got the tavern, I think, yeah, Picoth in here, uh, finally getting rid of this stress. He's been afflicted forever, so I'm finally curing his wounds. And uh, we've committed two more people to the sanitarium as well, Tornai and Bois Levesk is uh, getting rid of some disease there, the Red Plague, and then some scurvy, re er, respectively. And that's it! That is it! We got, like, very few low-level people, man. I actually dumped off the abomination we had in favor of this low-level arbalist here, Postal. She's not really gonna benefit at all from where we're taking her, but she's more beneficial than the abomination is right now, so at least there's that. So let's run down the squad here. Leper, Fortunate Armlet, Actually using the skeleton femur. I don't know about this one, man. It's also kind of weird that it's phrased not versus unholy instead of it just being a trinket that gives you bonus damage against unholy targets. There's probably some reason for that, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. But I'm going to try it out because we're going into the ruins, so it should, you know, work out fairly well for me. Fortunate armlet as well. Going to give him a little extra stress damage, but he does have withstand all the way up to level 3, so it should be nice there. Uh, you know what? I should look at his level 3s again. I'm not 100% sure I want to leave these behind. Let's have a look at, uh, Intimidate gives us... Reduces their speed and accuracy. That is pretty good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that one. Purge is a crit buff. Also not bad. Damage versus bleeding, probably not gonna happen, so we'll just pass on that one. But that's good, though. I'm glad I ended up doing that. Okay, Man at Arms. Still at level 0, so we can't benefit from any of these, but he does have the Maester Sat and the Heavy Boots. He's probably going to protect himself quite a bit, and uh, we're going to be looking to heal with the Occultist, who is going to be in spot 3. Also, still rocking the Focus Ring and the 4-Leaf Clover. I'm probably going to try to deal a good amount of damage with him, despite the fact that he's not our uh, primary damage dealer anymore. In fact, he's probably 4th in the line of damage dealers, but he is still capable of hitting pretty hard. So at least we have that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, utilize Abyssal Artillery... This is a weird lineup, though. God, I really want to have this, but I also think I need his corpse clear in the back. So let's just do those four for now and see if it works. I think it'll be okay. Arbalist with the blind fire, sniper shot, sniper's mark, and the battlefield bandage. Swift cloak and the bullseye bandana. Looking pretty good. So here we are. It's the sonorous prophet. Maybe I'll benefit a little bit from uh, destroying some pews, too. We'll see how well it goes. We also, of course... Primarily why I'm going into here is to get the Resolve Experience Bonus for the low-level guys and to get the extra damage in the Ruins, so let's do it. I think we're ready. Campfire-wise, I'm a little concerned. I don't really think I have anything that's going to benefit me tremendously, but I should be able to address stress, and that's probably going to be a big issue uh, all the way throughout this dungeon. I also probably am not going to be able to afford many torches, am I? God damn it. Oh, this is just continually a problem. Okay, can I sell, like, one thing? The Bleedstone makes sense. I'll go ahead and get rid of that for 300 gold and grab a couple more torches here. Ah, uh, can I make 25? I have 102 gold. That's so weird. I can get I can get rid of the Speedstone. It's just not good enough. 450 is enough to get us... I'll take a bandage, maybe. I have needed those. And one key. God, I'd love to have two. Tell you what. Take your bandage back. I'll take a key instead. We'll risk just having one. I can get one more torch. Or one more food, even. What do I want here? I want... A small dagger. Yes, I do. That's right. Okay, down to 50 gold. This sucks. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway. When a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions. 
and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. Freaky shit, yo! The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. So I firmly believe that if I keep my wits about me all throughout this dungeon here, that we can do this. It's gonna be hard. We're gonna run into some challenges, I think. We're gonna run into some resource issues, perhaps. Ooh, a journal page. Lillian was a beautiful young girl with a heart of gold, and she was undoubtedly my closest companion throughout my childhood in the Abbey. She had connived with me on our escape, and I was no fool as to her reasons. Not long after meeting, she had taken an interest in my heart, but I could not honestly recompense the desire. I just hoped that I would not have to halt her inclinations, but time would prove me to be incorrect in the assumption that she would move on. I should probably just go ahead and keep the torchlight up too, especially now. Hexproof Cultist Acolyte? What is that? That means debuffs. Okay, I, I've been trying to figure out what that implies, and now I... I have... deduced! Deduce the formula! Goodness, that was some great damage to start off with, although I'll probably have to purge now that I've actually cleared out his corpse. Or, uh, killed him, rather. Yeah, that definitely works out. Ah, uh, huh? And that's gonna give him a crit buff. Oh, goodness. I think I'm gonna really enjoy that, actually. That may prove to be my new favorite part of him. My previous favorite part of the leper, if you were curious, was the left kneecap. Yes, that's right, the left kneecap. Weirdly enough, leave your comment on what you thought. Bears favorite long Okay. All right, man. Look, you gotta respect the viewer's intelligence, okay? You, got, you gotta assume that that's not gonna work. Step up your game, bro. This is me talking to myself. I need a little bit of a pep talk every now and then. Especially when I'm going up against a goddamn boss with a team that I just... Uh, we we put this team together. This is what this team is. This is like, at the end of the day, if you're a chef, you've made all these delicious meals, you've worked hard, you've, you know, considered all your ingredients, you've really made an effort to put together nice concoctions, good dishes for all your patrons, right? Then at the end of the day, you got just like a bunch of bullshit left over on the table. Like, well, I don't want to waste this stuff. What am I going to do with it? I'll just put it all in a fucking pot. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Put it in the oven. Bake it at 350 degrees for 30 seconds. Uh, no, a little longer than that, probably. I don't cook much. This expedition at least promises success. But anyway, yeah, that's what this is. That, that, this is the take all the shit from the top of the table team. Hopefully it works. You can use holy water on that one, right? I'm pretty sure you can. I think I missed out on that. Because now I'm just terrified to do anything. Take one false fucking step and you're summoning a siren from hell. Yeah, I'll take those, though. The undead are a common theme for children's stories, but those stories are supposed to be false. I'll tell you honestly, it gets easier after the first. Don't think too deeply about the owner of those bones. Just strike it down as quickly as possible. You can't tell me not Even to think the about the owner of the bones. Seems bent on preventing passage. That guarantees that I'm thinking about the owner of them bones. You gotta play them bones. That's all I can think about with bones now, too. The accounting VR has completely, uh... burned itself into my mind. Alright, so as far as actually getting to the profit fight, I do have to go this way, right? Or no, it could be either one, so I really hope that we find ourselves a scout pretty soon here. We got a surprise attack, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Back to the pit. Do that. Holy shit. And, uh, intimidate. Their formation is broken. Oh my god. Maintain the offensive. This went well. Another one falls. Cool. Off we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I think I have a lot more damage than I anticipated. 
Which is obviously fine with me. The uh, surprise attacks are helping too. I don't really think I need to do that. Let's go for a heal. Perfect! Fly fire again for the speed up. I may regret that. Stun, probably? Not that it really matters that much. I'm sure we're getting through this more or less unscathed, although the stun does prevent the kill. Well, alrighty. Thank you very much. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yeah, this team has way more damage than I thought they did. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Is it really that 15% for the quest that's doing that much? It seems like everybody is hitting like a fucking tank right now. Let's see. Ah, uh, well, hmm. You do need to go first. Despite the fact that these guys are scary. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Very nice. Oh my god, I forgot about that too. Okay, so Abyssal Artillery actually has like a tiny stun chance now. 69% base at level 3, but that is enough. And that is extremely valuable. That makes me super happy. I completely forgot about that. We got the debuff on him too. I'll go for a stun. That makes sense. We can knock him back even. No, all right. No big deal. Took a little bit of damage there. That leper probably needs a little bit of heal and love from our occultist, especially now. Although a stack of that bleed would be problematic. Is he in a lot of danger? I don't really think so. I think I could, uh... Well, hold on. Let's think about this. I'm going to use the occultist offensively here, I'm pretty sure. So let's go for the battlefield. Or, wait, no. Hold on. Let's mark this target. Because that reduces protection a little bit now, courtesy of her... Or wait, no, she doesn't have the rank 3. Who's got the rank 3? That's Vulnerability Hex. That reduces protection now. Okay, so we gotta use that when we can. Clear those corpses out. Very nice. A little bit of stress healing for him, but that does stack up a touch there. Intimidate? Uh, I think I'd rather kill you. And then I can try this stun one more time. No, shit. Alright, now it's probably time to heal him up. The occultist can heal from that spot. I'm not getting the damage from the leper, of course. We've got him marked, so this makes sense. And I'm still going to attempt that stun from the man at arms. Probably still my best play. More protection buffs. Obviously unnecessary. I'm feeling good about the stress here, too. This is working out fairly well. Not bad. Again, just methodical approaches here. I was confident about that, but now I'm feeling a lot better about it. These guys do take forever to kill still, though, and I don't really have a reliable way of reducing protection. I've got, like, tiny little bits that I can get rid of. Nice. Excellent. What's that? Be wary. Oh, good. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Oh, I should have I should have held on to that. I often very quickly forget that those things do not, uh... How do I interact with that properly, I wonder? I forget that those don't last very long. They're usually only like one battle buffs, and I can probably hang on to them for a lot longer than I typically do. Is this a horrible interaction? It's not. Oh, goody. Okay, I can trust that one still. Let's keep that light up. Five torches left is probably going to be enough to get us through here. I'm desperately hoping that we run into a, uh, a scout in one of these upcoming rooms here. I don't have any bonus to that, unfortunately. Another surprise attack. That's fantastic. He took a lot of damage, though. I'm a little worried about that. Okay, she should be dead, and I'm more than happy to do this again, because not only does... Oh, my God! I'm not even going to explain it anymore. Doesn't even... It's not even worth the time. Good stun. Excellent. Oh, my God. Okay, well, we get to get the heal off, I think. Yeah. My goodness. Okay, that's fair. I can accept that. I think I'll purge here and probably attempt to stun this guy. Or I could just chop him down. I'll probably get enough with a chop and a crush. I think I can probably chance this. Obliterated. Very good. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. That is exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted. Thank you very much. I have one key. Let's go get that shit. Yes, sir. Oh, baby, this is good. This is good. Now, sadly, that does not tell me where I need to go. I thought that was going to get all the way out, out to the uh, end here. I only need to scout to this room, so I should go here first. 
just to see whether or not I'm going to be able to scout to there, and then we can uh, determine where to move from that point. I might take a chance on this, but it's totally unnecessary at the same time. Here we go. Yep. Ooh, a feather crystal. That's a really good trinket. Dodgy sheath isn't bad either for the highwayman. But I really like this. This is one I'm going to use quite a bit, I'm sure. Really happy to see that, actually. Okay, off we go. I was hoping for gold. I'll be honest, I would have preferred some gold, but the Feather Crystal is definitely not a bad alternative. We really need some more offensive trinkets, though. Most of what I've got at the moment is in the interest of protecting us and keeping us alive, and that's usually good anyway. I mean, I've got a lot of accuracy buffs, too. Which is also nice, especially with the Leper and the Arbalist. Oh, I don't have a key for this anymore, I guess. Yeah, we'll take a chance. Alright. Not a big deal. We'll go that way. Uh, we'll hit up this room. I'll probably avoid... ...using the uh, campfire still for at least a little while. Because I'm still using torches to... ...to get our light up. So I might want to let that drain down. In fact, I think I'll just go ahead and let it drain all the way until we get to this room battle, and then we'll consider using a campfire at that point. I might as well heal here. I've got the opportunity, so fuck it. Everybody's at full health now. Probably a stun there. Nice dodge! This is all we have to deal with. No blight! Ah, shit. Very minimal, though. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Just fucking fantastic. I can't even... I don't know what to ask for. I have everything I need right now. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Alright, so I'm beginning to wonder whether or not I should just dump these, and I think I'm going to. I don't know if there's any value in holding on to them. They're 500 gold, so there's that, obviously. Yeah, I guess I don't need to dump it off for 20 gold at the moment. I could consider doing something else, but... I don't know if I need to. Oh god, I just realized I forgot to do that, too. Okay. No more torches. No more torches, we're just gonna let the light dwindle down into here. Hope for the scout with enough light to go this way. Actually, we'll see if that ends up dropping down too far. Ooh, busts are nice. We got seven of those already. Goddamn. Okay, I took a big gamble there, actually. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. I don't like that I did that. Still got a little scouting bonus. Okay, this is mostly damage here, so it might be time time to protect someone. The Arbalist is the one I'm considering the most. Destroy. So amazing. Oh my god, and the stun! That move is ridiculous! Holy shit! Impressive. Okay, yes sir, we are in business now. A powerful blow. What in the fuck? Okay, that's gonna come back, I think, but... We're like mostly done. Uh, stun? Knockback? Anything? Nope. Alright. I'll live, I guess. Jeez, there was like... So much I was worried about there, and all of a sudden it was just gone. Just completely fucking destroyed. Good damage. Arbalist is a little, uh, unreliable here, unfortunately, with the uh, range of her potential damage. No problem. Hit him for one. Holy shit, this is insane. I'm gonna take a heal here. Why not, you know? Heal for 13. Throw a bleed on her. That sounds like a good time. 50 stress, though. That sucks. What's that? Success so clearly in view. Eh, it's not good enough. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I'm gonna prioritize that over an herb, actually, and tell you what. We didn't get the scout here, so... This could be the fight. So tell you what, I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare as though it was. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. I don't need to heal, actually. You know what? I'm fine with taking half portions here. Because we'll more than likely use a couple of skills, respite, to get rid of her stress. Although I don't think I have an option to. Oh, that sucks. I'll take that, because that's really good for him. Dark strength would be nice, too, actually. Tell you what, I'm going to do that for... The leper? No, it makes way more sense for her, right? Yeah, we'll do that. And then... Wound care, I guess. That would make sense. 
What do we have that costs three? Instruction is nice. Dodge and speed. Bloody shroud, good resistances. Field dressing, not really. Oh, you know what? Marching plan. Gotta do marching plan. That speed buff is really nice. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Alright, I would be perfectly fine with fighting the boss right now, to be honest. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that there and... Ooh. <laughs> okay. Traps lie in wait. Not bad. Unsprung and thirsting for blood. I'm just gonna ignore that. Pop a torch. Let's see if it's... Let's see if it's here. Why not? I'd welcome it. Not here. Alright, that's fine. Totally fine. We'll interact with this curio now, too, because I've, I've got more of a... Uh, more of a leeway for error. Nice. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Almost passed up on 500, what, 750 gold there or something? Would have been goddamn foolish of me. Okay, I've got two shovels. I don't know why I was talking like Cindy from Final Fantasy 15 there all of a sudden. Hey, y'all. How do you feel about this music playing when I'm around? Sounds a little bit like a porno. It's like they knew what they was doing. Small dagger. Oh, baby. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. A barber once demonstrated the moving of muscles to me on a cadaver. It was incredible to say the least, and I learned one would be immobile without these beautiful features. With this knowledge, I stare in fearful wonder at the form of fleshless bones before me doing everything a man could do. The most harrowing thing about these undead militia is the number of them. Each bone desecrated and scarred with tales of war. These were men who once served some ill-fated allegiance, king, deity, or baron. I follow one rule to avoid becoming one of them. Move faster. I only have one more torch and one more shovel here. So I'm a bit worried. I think I'm going to save it for as long as I can and just go in the darkness here, although I really would like to get a scout. Ooh, okay. I shouldn't open this. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna see if we get a key. Not too bad. I've got another surprise attack. Holy shit, the Maester's hat. I think someone's wearing that. Yeah, that's the uh, man at arms. That's been nice today. Okay, good damage there. I'll probably go ahead and try to pull him forward to get the kill. Clear the corpse out. Not that that really matters all that much. Intimidate on these guys is brilliant. And I'm going to defend my occultist. Make damn sure they don't just peck him really quickly. Great dodge. How about another one? Okay, that's acceptable. That's a little worse. I am going to heal here for sure. Do I need to help her out? Probably not. Masterfully executed. My goodness. Let's see what she can do. That's not bad. That's probably enough. Very good. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. See, like right there, for example, I think the journal page actually may be worth more money than that trinket was, but I wonder if it would have been worth it to consider that. Shape shifting bone spearman, huh? Okay. Kind of need to uh, help her out a little bit. Oh, that bleed is back, though. Shit. Okay, I'm fine with blind fire here. That was the ideal target, in fact. I don't like intimidate, actually. I'm just gonna go for the one shot. Although... If I do this, and then I'm able to kill this guy before... His next turn. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a shuffle, too. Shit. Well, clearly I want to do this, then. I might kill one, though. But no, that, I think that makes more sense. Or does it? God, I really spread out this damage this round. Hopefully it doesn't really make a difference. Dodge it! Do damage, okay. Okay, 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 okay. You're still stunned. You've only got two hit points left. Let's just, uh... Yeah. Why take any chances here? Let's just get all the big damage up. With impunity. Good shit. More stress relief with those crits. Gorgeous. As victories mount, so too will resistance. We shall ignore that, and we are now prior to the boss, I believe. We should be now. That is kind of an unfortunate shuffle, but 
Still get the kill. I'd like to move her back, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let the leopard get the purge just to make sure he doesn't come back. Because we got way too much damage potential here in the back with the stress attacks. Hmm. Okay with this. Oh, the double resist I am not fine with, though. Okay, well, I'm still going to do that, unfortunately. Shuffled him up. That's not bad. Okay, got to help him out, though. A little bit too much damage coming through to the team. I will feast, however, so maybe I don't have to worry about it too much. Ooh, I like this move. Yeah, I'm just going to pass on the heal for now, I think. Although the battlefield bandage is nice. You know what? I'm going to do that, yeah. Totally fine with that. And then we can hopefully... Let's see. Purge is not going to deal the damage necessary here, unfortunately. I was hoping that the crush would deal a little bit more. So... I guess I'll do that. Let him come back, but hopefully reduce his effectiveness. Thank you for not knocking him back. And I'm going to go for the heal here as well. Probably let the Arbalist heal the Man-at-Arms one more time. And then I'll probably end up relying on my uh, campfire heals after that. You know what? No, no, I don't need it anymore. I'm good. I need a little bit of extra damage, actually. And now, hopefully, this is going to hit a hard enough one to get like that. Yes! Rampart time for the stun. Please land one of these. This dude has been resistant to the rampart. I don't know what it is. Just not fucking working. Okay, three damage may end up being a difference maker, actually. Might as well take the heal while I can do it. And here we go with the chop, chop, chop! Ah, uh, nah. Alright, so... Let's camp out. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. She's still got these issues. I am definitely going to prevent the ambush here. Let's take, uh... Man. Nobody has stress relief at all. I thought for sure we did, but we have a good amount of buffs at least. There is that. So let's see. I'm going to go with the dark strength again. I think that's going to help me out quite a bit. I like marching plan as well, and then that leaves us with maintain equipment if I want it. Okay, yeah, it's the same plan as last time, but I think it's pretty effective. The light, the promise of safety. I'm gonna reshuffle this. Off we go, right? Yeah. I think we're ready. Oh, that sucks. That's what I have to run into here. That's not a bad start. They both resisted the stun, unfortunately, and that's some extra stress. Nice. All right, hopefully I can kill you first. None of these guys are going to leave behind corpses, so at least there's that. Oh, man. Why did he get to act first? God damn it. I had my marching plan and everything, but she didn't get the speed buff from that. That's right. Precision and power. Good hit. Okay, now. Now what's the play? Still need to kill her first, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go for the crush. All right. Not too shabby. Don't really need to heal, so I'll just weaken this guy, I guess. Make him vulnerable to the Arbalist shot, like so. Alright, I guess we took care of that, didn't we? Cool. Ooh, I want this money, though. So, off goes the shovel, unless I need it, which... Then I'd feel real dumb. Oh, come on! And purpose is made clear. Two fights preceding the boss, both of which contain stress enemies. Never-ending bones for the extra dodge and speed. Clearly gonna do that again, and I'll... Oh, man, I need to purge then, I guess. Got the stun, though. That's nice. But I am still gonna try to kill him. Okay, that sets up purge, obviously, and then... I'm gonna have to try to stun the royal bone soldier. He's got a little bit of resistance, though. There we go. Still got the slash off. That hurts. Reeling. About to break. Way too much stress added on right before the goddamn boss fight. That really bums me out. Oh, that sucks. Come on. 
The zero heal, dodge, and the bleed. Okay, that's a little better. Couldn't get rid of the bleed, unfortunately. I'll probably just go for another heal attempt from him. I think I'm just gonna try to crush the, yeah, the frail bone rabble. I think it just needs the mallet to the face, don't they? Be gone, Although that does just re recreate a new one. Which is stronger than the last. That's better. That's more like it. Not quite enough. I'll go for the Intimidate, but he still gets to act first. God damn, what's the speed buff for? One shot. Oh, God. Leper, please. Oh, take pity. Thank you. There it is. There it is. Leper doing work. I will take the Onyx. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the journal page, right? Actually, I could use this bandage. I don't think the prophet actually has a bleed attack. All right, it's not gonna be five fights through this, right? Please. What? No. Oh, come on. The hallway from hell before the sonorous prophet. Fuck that. All right, whatever. The madman hides there. Behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. Very good. Okay, well, that is a fine start. Targeting our frontliners, who are gonna tank the shit out of that. A decisive pummeling. Very good. Okay, I just realized too the abyssal artillery is actually gonna end up uh, hitting this thing, so I may take out the third line blockade before I ever clear the first one. Although that was a lot of damage early on. Let's go ahead and defend her up right now. Get his protection online. Make sure we're gonna be okay there. And I did forget Blight can be quite the pervasive issue against this guy, too. That's already a ton of damage, so we should be healing straight away, although the Abyssal Artillery is really nice. Okay, he's already defended himself, so he's clearly fine. I'm gonna hit this one more time. Devastating blow. Jesus fucking Christ! That's crazy! 23! Oh my god! They're not even gonna get to him! There's one! Crush is in range. Mortality clarified in a single stage. Oh, he just crit blight my man in arms, though. That sort of sucks. I'll definitely take this. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. Oh god, I might have to heal. The heal's fine anyway. I mean, I'm not getting the value out of the abyssal artillery anymore, so so I think I'm okay to do this. Let's do it. For one! That's what I needed. All right. Going all in. Oh, for minimal damage. God damn it. He's at death's door. All right, buddy. Well, nothing we can do for you. Let's just get the damage where we can. Now I can hit this pew, actually, and uh, he's in range. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Please don't die. The end approaches. Irrational Arbalist. This is a level zero man at arms, so I'm really not that broken up about it. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I don't care. Just kill him. It's alright. He's disposable. There's a good heal. I'm just gonna get the hell out of here as soon as I'm done with this, too, because fuck this noise. Oh, and she is just hurting so much. Okay, seven damage. We can get that, right? We can get that with a good old shot! Did he foresee his own demise? I care not. So long as he remains dead. Holy shit, I gotta make some space, don't I? <laughs> oh no! Okay, um... There's one. Just eat the fucking food, you idiot. Get rid of that. It's gotta be the journal pages, right? What I thought would be a simple task to locate and subdue a madman turned into a macabre and disturbing reality. Though he had ripped out his own eyes, he could see as if they had not left his cranium. Broken and weakened after our confrontation, he fled deeper into the abyssal ruins. But we all saw what we saw, and it makes me wonder, is he a prophet of falsities, or a prophet of truth? So we can, like, get rid of all that shit and take those, right? That's the play. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. 
quite the payout, but we did kill a guy. Hooray! Got my money, baby. Some busts and a holy orders as well. Seven experience points, couple more level threes. Hostile though is uh, feeling hostile. And some disease, because what trip would be complete without it? You answered the letter. Now, like me, you are a part of this place. Sanitarium half off. I'm thinking I'm finally going to get rid of some of this shit that's been bothering me. I really don't like that rabies anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Well, no. I'll take the chance on getting rid of rabies, and I'll definitely get rid of the hemophilia. This one's pretty awful. I'm going to get rid of that, too. There we go. And probably could use some stress relief, too, actually. So, yeah, let's go ahead and commit our arbalist right there. You don't necessarily need it, but if you've got an open space, I'll take it. No, okay, and then Antiquarian needs the help, too. Let's throw her in the little, little old cloister. Okay? Cool. Not bad. Thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon Pitch Black Estate. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.